Hey everyone, welcome back. As you know, here on Hasty Brew, one of the things I do is speedrun Game Maker. And yeah, I do it as part meme and part showcase, and also to prove how long it actually takes to make something like Flappy Bird or Guitar Hero or whatever. But since I've started this channel, I've wanted to find a game that I could actually speedrun, like a simple but full version of a popular retro game I could make in under 10 minutes. And I finally got to do it, sort of. In this version, I'll make Snake, modeled after the classic Nokia version with a growing snake body and a method of spawning and deleting square objects that would make an efficiency expert cry. Okay, let's get into it. This is how to make a snake game in under 10 minutes. Cool. All the cool kids. Every one of them. That's what I say. Okay, here we go. So... Let me pull my notes back up. We're going to take two, right? Just keep it rolling. So we're going to open up Game Maker, select new game blank game, give it a project's name, and then we'll start the time as soon as I click let's go. We're going to come into our room, change our background size to 800 by 800, change our background color to, let's make this, I think I did 15 last time, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, can open up. Let's come in here, change our grids to 50 by 50. I think we can start giving ourselves some sprites right away. So the first one we're gonna do is sprite head, change the size to 50 by 50, edit image. And we're gonna take the curve tools like the top, try to select somewhere, say maybe like there, drag it out. Um, then again, just kind of trying to give it a little bit of a snake head. And we'll take the line tool, finish this off, green to color it in, and I feel like it might be a little short, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna take this, take, mm, nope. Uh, this is the select tool, and then from here we can drag it probably to about there. Yeah, I know that's to the very end, why not? Okay, take our circle tool, give it some eyes. Now, this is definitely not uh, best best game dev practices. This is just about fun stuff you can do in in Game Maker. You know, there's there's a million different ways to do things, and a lot of times I might not always have the best method. Um, but I usually have a very workable method and something that's at least tested out a bit. And it makes sense and it's quick, so... But this is not that. Uh, this is an example of just bad... Bad logic, bad programming. Because I really want to try to do something in uh, 10 minutes, so... Alright, okay. Uh, the last thing... Center. This is the origin, changing to middle center for these, and then uh, left, center, middle, middle left. There we go. Okay. Now we have a few objects. And yeah, I will be moving through this as quickly as possible. I'll try to explain as much as I can. So the original snake had sort of things moved by a certain increment and you collected this these food pellets and your snake grew and everything kind of moved together. Um, I'm going to drag that into our room and the head. This is going to be a little different. We're going to be using some fun game maker stuff to just like load in a bunch of objects and delete them according to like a global frame count, <clears throat> global frame counter. Um, there were a lot of fireworks in LA as always. So there's just a lot of pollution in the air. My voice is starting to go. I'm just kind of... Try 
try not to wear out my voice completely. Uh, yeah, just setting up this. So yeah, we're just creating a bunch of objects and then deleting them after a certain amount of time has passed to kind of simulate um, a snake movement. I think that makes sense. And then for here... Uh, right, the snake can only move... Like if it's moving up, it can't move down. Otherwise, you would lose instantly. We're not doing image. Okay. I had... Uh, Snake used to have a tongue that moved, but we had to cut it for time. Just switches to the booleans. Mm, 90, 90. Negative 90, negative 90. Right? Yeah. Okay, so same thing here. Take this, copy paste. Is vert. Always the home stretch. I'm just going to add a slight delay because we don't actually need to make them every single frame. Yeah, I actually don't like putting this here as much, but we'll do it anyways. Um, the last take, we just popped this right into the uh, body object, but we're here now. Come on. Less than or equal to zero. Come on. Uh, 
This is where we increase the body size. Got my finger on time. Yep. Good. Good. I just have to die. Oh! Oh, this feels so dumb, but I have been I have been looking for a sub 10 game uh, pretty much since I started, and this feels this feels like quite quite a dumb accomplishment. So, yeah, yeah, it's not pretty, and it's just like making a new object for every single one of those. But yeah, if you go off, if you hit yourself, and that snake, I mean, that's nice. Okay. Cool. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or you run into bugs, just reach out and we can work through it together. And please remember to give this a like and sub, it really helps out so much. So what's up? What's next? You want to do another tutorial? How about a video that explains an indie game so you don't have to play through the whole thing? Still here? Uh, yeah, so you just pick one of those videos and, uh, it's, it's just gonna pick one, uh, right randomly now. Okay, um, I'm gonna end the video. Th thank you.